Hello everybody and welcome to Ashen. I don't know, it's a game that just kind of happened to come out last night. It was something about the video game rewards. They decided to just kind of release it alongside that, um, you know, the Epic Game Store. So I decided to pick it up. I love Souls games. Souls-like games I always want to try out. So let's see how this goes. Let's start up a new game. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Style. Feminine. Masculine. Um... <laughs> We'll go masculine. Hairstyle, what do we got? Oh boy. This is an interesting art style. I've heard people compare it to Absolver, but I don't know what the heck Absolver is. Or rather, I never played it. Picked it up on PS Plus a little while ago. Never played it though. Ooh, Barn Builder. <laughs> okay, so we got the obligatory Amish setting. Hunter. Nope. <laughs> Shepherd. Okay, we'll just go with no. No, no. Right, let's get that hair looking nice and dark. Skin color. We can't be blue. So let's get him a little pale to match the brownish hair. And uh, just a quick reminder. Uh, when there's cutscenes, I will do my best to just shut up. And we can enjoy them all together. It's my first time seeing the game, it's the first time for most of us, so I figure it's best if I just stay quiet. Let's enjoy it. Among the stars, the ashen fly. Beneath, the nine realms move among the tree of worlds' many branches. Proudly standing upon the darkness, its roots delving into caverns where light will never venture. It was when a single great ashen flew down to rest upon her boughs that the light woke among the realms. The Tree of Gondor. After eons, the great Ashen grew weak with age and fell from the Tree of Worlds, resting upon the plains of darkness, drawing what few breaths remained. No birdie. In the of death, the light dimmed, and the Ashen's final three breaths became the three golden ages of light. The first age saw three creatures of the Dark Plains rise above all others. The Elder Dark fed upon the light and thrived. The second marked the coming of the Listener Matriarchs, Titans who revered the light. The third breath was the Age of Man. Geffen's children. When the final breath ended, there would be a time of darkness. In that black age, the cities of man fell into ruin, toppled by war and emptied by pestilence and famine. Proud Lathyrus drowned beneath the ash. Okay, so they did some world building. They established quite a bit, actually. You got the chesty boys, you got from the titans, and you got the humans. Flesh, from darkness to radiance. Soon, the Ashen will be reborn from the ruins of its old body, and a new age of light will begin. I arm? served the Ashen long ago, a guardian to its waning light. Even though it broke me, with its brilliance. Now, look to the mountain peak, for that is where fresh hope blooms. Looks pretty grim to me. Oh. Hello there. The ashen is reborn. Behold the first glimmer of the light that will sweep the darkness from these plains. Are we the ashen? Is that the idea? Nope. Nope, I'm just this dude. Hi there. The cliffs ahead 
to provide a good vantage point. Okay. Beware. The rebirth of the Ashen will be violent. So I'm curious. I want to know more. Alright, so let's figure out controls. L1, L2 not doing anything. R2, strong attack. R1, okay. Circle is roll. It looks like they got the Dark Souls thing going, except we have triangle for jump. To what? Huh? Okay. I think it wants us to go there. So, hello? Who are you? Yes. Them's always watching indeed. Huh? Okay. Wait, what was that? Oh! <laughs> I think I just put out the fire with myself. <laughs> Alright, so... That is pretty. That looks nice. Alright, hold it. Broken bone at what? Did it just auto loot for me? Alright, start menu is this. Okay, so I have to unequip my... What is this? Broken spiked club. Hey, another guy. Oh. I don't think this guy is as friendly. Get him! Whooped! <laughs> Alright. I don't know who must <laughs> Mr. Mustache is, but I'm more than welcome as company. Yeah, so I'm hitting A, but it's just like auto-looting whatever's in there. I wonder if that's intentional or if I have a setting fucked up. Uh, but sure, let's equip the shield. Flank shield. Hello? How do I- oh. Oh. Okay. What's this? It's a feather. Plus two max stamina. White Ashen Feather. Okay, okay. So I wonder if there is some kind of standard leveling up that goes on in this game, or if you just pick items up. I watched someone stream briefly before I decided to buy this, because I wasn't entirely sold just yet, because I didn't know too much about the game. And as far as I can tell, they were never stopping to level or anything like that. There are, like, shops, from what I understand. But I'll still get there. Okay, so hold down, hold down B to sprint, and then let's do a jump. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> okay, we got some Dark Souls 2 jumping going on in this game. In other words, it lunges you 10 miles forward. Hello? Not safe, not safe, never safe. Where's my friend going? Uh, I'm just curious what these guys have to say. What? Uh, I think they're going crazy. Okay, I think that they might be slightly crazy. I don't know much about the world in this game. I don't know if the people have like some kind of hollowing status. Nonetheless, guys, come on. Starting area, there's gonna be a lot of loot. So that was a healing item. What's that? What's that? What's that? Okay. I'm not gonna bother. Alright. Apple Cricket, increasing your stamina regen. It's a grim little lantern. Sap oak. I don't know what a sap oak is. But nonetheless, yeah, that's the healing item. Do we have a bar? Yes, I have a quick slot bar. We have two slots available there, at least for healing items. So just a test, because I imagine I won't need stamina regen right now. Come here. Wait, 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 wait. Come here! Stop! Stop! Stop it! Okay. I didn't even drop anything. Now I just feel like a monster. 
Okay, so let's see, square. Okay, so it pretty much follows Dark Souls button setup. So Okay. Okay. Which in my opinion is very smart. If you're making a Souls like game, there's nothing wrong with using a similar or the same button setup. I feel like I shouldn't do this. <laughs> yeah, okay. Gotta run back around. Wait, who this? No, that's a statue. I'm gonna leave the bunnies alone now, because apparently they don't give me anything. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's go do some... Let's go do some content. Let's go see what the shiny-ass Ashton is all about. that thrive in perpetual night and would extinguish these fledgling rays. We must find the Ashen and protect it from the Elder Dark. Whoa! Okay, so you got your light versus dark going on. The way that cutscenes end into the load screen is a little abrupt. I do have this on my SSD right now. I don't know. It might actually be worse without the SSD. Friendo. God, he's gonna just... Womp everything, isn't he? What's this? Uh, oh, okay. So you can climb. That was just by that was just done by uh, clicking the jump button. Nothing special. What a sight! Our world once more bathed in ashen light. You have felt the power of the ashen and survived. We will need that strength of yours. The Ashen is still a sleeping child. Vulnerable. We must wake it from its slumber. Before we begin our journey, we must bind your spirit to a ritual stone. If misadventure takes you, the stone will act as a beacon from beyond death's veil. Okay. I'm guessing Frendo is just going to show me where to go. Okay. So I'm going to keep up with him for now. So, I haven't commented on the controls or anything. It's it's pretty tight controls. It feels solid. It feels pretty okay, actually. And the rolls aren't kind of weird or excessive by any means. So far, it's got a good feeling to it. Okay. Where do you go? Oh. Oh, you're just going to carry me. <laughs> Alright, what else we got, buddy? Also, where's the ritual stone that I'm looking for? So you got your basic tutorial happening right now. Okay, so those are the heavy attacks. Is there a wind-up, though? Can we charge our heavy attack? Who that? Can. Okay. So far, it actually felt like the, the, the attack weaved into the other one. Which is kind of nice. Which is kind of really nice. So obviously we got more of a bit, more of an open world, and uh, more of an open world than like a Souls game. Sorry, I'm kind of just taking it all in right now. I'm actually really enjoying it. The art style is not as distracting as I thought it would potentially be. Also, let's follow the quest objective here, because maybe I was supposed to actually do something closer to where the first guy was. The one-armed dude. Nope. Nope. 
so I need to find a way up. So if we go straight north, we can kind of curve around. But that's not where we need to go. We follow the road. Okay. Yeah, so this is with all the settings on Ultra. The only thing I disabled was motion blur. And they cap the frames to 60 frames as well. Hello, Bones. Why do I feel like there's an ambush waiting here? Oh, Bone Spear. Okay. Use this to equip Spear. Okay, so we got the Bone Spears out. How do I use the Bone Spear? Oh. Okay. And R1 is stabby stab, R2 is javelin times, and L2 to cancel. Okay. Again, all the controls are pretty logical. I don't feel like I need to rebind anything. It's a pretty comfy game. Keep looting away, though. What? Uh. Oh, ooh, gotcha. So, fun fact about me, I'm terrible at console aiming. Or rather, uh, dual stick aiming. I'm just absolutely awful at it. Oh, shit. Carry me! I, I got like two shot by this dude. My teammate, she's just fucking tanking for me. This dude is just carrying the shit out of me, by the way. I'm. Okay. That is a good teammate. I like that guy. So, where are we going now? Alright, now we do need to... Okay, we go straight forward and we gotta curve upwards somewhere. Wait, what's that? Oh, I think it's just a dude. Boop! What, you just turned into two dudes? What? Left button to raise shield. That wasn't working before, but I have a spotty left button. Alright, I want to try shield slamming someone, though. I would really like to try shield slamming, because L2 is like this, like, slam. Alright, we got an iron club. Alright, let's switch it up. Let's switch and try another weapon. So we can have a one-handed and a two-handed weapon. Again, mildly concerning because if any of you guys saw my video or my stream on Sinner, so that game works and that game is kind of poop. So let's just continue on. Where are we going? Oh, also, I heal. Damn. That was a good amount of healing from that. Plunging attack. Okay. Okay. I like this. This is a good gigantic fucking club. Uh, where are we going? Oh, it's right here. Alright, let's bait it out. Because I feel like maybe it's going to throw another little mini boss or well, tough guy at me, pretty much. Seriously? My teammate. Oh. Oh. 
I like this. I like this. There's a good weightiness to it that just kind of works out really well. I enjoy this. Alright, got more healing items. Alright. Better spark. Oh, drowning. What does drowning do? Okay, drains of stamina and probably a health bar after. So we kind of can swim, but only enough to get ourselves out of water, which is good. I'm okay with that. Oh, hello there. Oh god. Ow. Nom nom. It's really dark in here. <laughs> you see, when you ambush me, my wildly overpowered friend here, who shall never be named, will just fucking stomp you. Perfect. Okay. Also, um, in case you didn't know. Or notice, top of the screen there's actually a little, uh, compass type of thing there. At least it directs you to your objective and also directs you to your ally, if he's within a certain range, I guess. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Now that's, that's a good looking physics engine right there, you just caved in. I like it. Again, there's a good weight to this weapon. I like it. Okay, how do I switch back with one hand? Oh. So there's three options here. It's kind of awkward how it switches, but I can get used to it. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to stick with the club, I think. Because that is a good club. Give me my hammer, so I might awaken this sleeping stone. Touch the spark to the ritual stone. Plus 12 stamina, see? Bind your spirit to this place. So, there is something to that. Do quests, and that's how you increase your stats, I guess, maybe. rest. Hell yeah. So, I did a little bit of reading up on this game. It does sound like you do have some element of world building that you can do. I don't know to what extent you can world build. I don't know exactly how in-depth it gets, but I'm excited. I like that idea. I have searched these foothills and found no sign of the Ashen. We must consult Gethin of the Birthing Waters. She will know where to look. Geffen can be found bathing within the Annex of Light. Bridge the waters and strike out for the cliffs. There lies your way in. Geffen gave birth to humanity in the Third Golden Age. We are but wide-eyed children, begging for the wisdom of an ancient mother. I don't know about the whole eyed part, but sure. Gethin has roamed the stone vaulted waters since before the Ashen fell. Yet she is most fond of the Annex of Light, once a place of healing and peace. What's that music though? This is nice. Like it seems pleasant, honestly. So let's talk to our Do friend you here. Dream? Oh. In my sleep, I hear my brother's voice. He once traveled this way with my father. I wasn't with them. Ahu was eldest, so it was his duty alone. 
Now he echoes through my slumber, calling to me. Huh. Each time is the same. He stands atop an old listener ruin, calling to me. I have found the ruin by the lakeside. Will you help me climb it? Hell yeah. Okay, so we do have quests. Let's see, what can we do here? So we got our bonfire. It probably refreshes the enemies as well. Nothing of note. Hello? Geffen gave birth to Okay, just a little bit of war, but... I think I'll do it for this video. Thank you for joining. Just checking out the game. Hope that my mild commentary was even slightly helpful. It's got a good feeling, and I'll probably continue recording right after this. I just don't want to make very long videos. Just half hour top. And uh, hopefully I'll have a second one uploaded real soon, because I want to see where this game is going to go. I want to see where it's going to take me. Because the idea of an action, adventure, world building style game with souls like combat, now, that just sounds like a good time. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.